So it's been about seven months since I started this tank and moved my old tank, some of the corals from it over and did the big change over. It's in some of my videos. And um, just wanted to let everybody know that I'm very glad I did it. I'm enjoying this tank. It's a lot easier to take care of, but I have gotten some comments as to what I did different in this setup than my last setup. And I have a lot of videos on how my other setup was the equipment and stuff. And so I'm going to go over this aquarium, um, this setup. I haven't done much different. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And so I didn't change very much. But what I did want in this tank that I did not have in my other tank was more movement. I had a lot more hard corals, the stony corals, um, bird's nests and things like that that would do well under this lighting, poslaporas, styloporas, and they consumed a lot of calcium and such out of the water. I had to dose and it, there wasn't a lot of movement whereas I wanted more water movement in this tank and a lot more corals that swayed and so I changed out. I've been wanting a, I think it's called a Tunzi 6040 for a long time. And so on this tank, I did put one in and I'm very happy with it. I have my controller over here on the wall and I don't even know if I can show it. It's back there. It, it's bigger than I thought it would be, but I really love it. And you can set it up so that it will be on and then off at different strengths. So it's kind of like a wave or you can have it so it pulses so that it's stronger weaker and that's what i have it doing is it pulses for about you can set it for different amounts of seconds i think up to 10 seconds and i have it for like eight seconds where it will pulse higher speed and then eight seconds at a i mean strength and eight seconds at a lower strength and so i hit it behind this rock over here and it it really causes um, a nice varied flow. The only other water movement things I have in this tank, just like my other tank, I had a um, an Aqua Clear. So that's an Aqua Clear 70. It's got my heater in it, which is a neotherm. And I do have um, just a temperature a thermometer in there. But the only reason why I have a filter on this is not for the water movement, but it's to put filter pads to kind of scrub the water and um, you know keep the water clear catch fine particles maybe and to put my carbon in my FOS guard and I do put a tiny piece of poly filter in here as well the other water movement thing I have is back here and it's just one of those little adjustable I think Hydor makes it Pico and it um, it's adjustable and can go very low to very high and I just have it going very gently over the top of these harder corals on this side. I don't have very many hard corals in this tank but they're mostly in this area so I wanted to have a little more flow right over the top of them. The only other one I think I have in here is that bird's nest there. Oh yeah, I have another little guy back there. But there's a lot more flow in this tank with that varied flow and the corals really seem to like it. Um, the colors really pop. I have a new camera, so I don't know if this video is going to look any different from my other, other ones. Um, my husband got me a new camera because my other one broke, but I'd had it for a long time. But anyways, on this rock here, I have my Pallies Grandis, Grandis Pallies, and I like those kind of mushrooms. And those pa pallies that I had from my other tank, I took a little sample and put them in here, a little frag. And that's the only pallies I have in this tank. I have no zoos, just those pallies and no other mushrooms, I don't think. I think everything's on this rock and it's pulled out away from everything else. I got a question recently about feeding in this tank and I do it the same as my other tank there's another video on it but I don't spot feed this is a nano tank and you don't want everything to grow out of your tank fast because that's what happened I had to 
redo my whole tank in four years it was so crowded and everything had grown to its maximum size for my tank and I just had to break it down and restart it and I kept some of my favorite stuff and fragged up some stuff and got rid of it and you know just kind of started over so that's why things aren't really filled in huge but you know this is a 20 long and it will fill up fast and so I don't spot feed anything just my choice I just sp sprinkle the stuff on the water um, that I feed. I do put Reef Energy Part A and B in here. Not every day, every couple days. I put uh, Reef Roids or Reef Frenzy as my two favorite dried particle foods. And I just put a tiny, tiny pinch on the water of this, not even every day. And I use a sinking pellet from Spectrum for hermit crabs. And I have a porcelain crab I don't know where it is around in here somewhere I haven't seen it recently but uh, I have a watchman goby that likes the sinking pellets and a banded um, harlequin sea star that likes it and my hermits and stuff like that and then I've got a, a floating pellet that I put in for my little clownfish that's up there and I have a tail spot blenny in here somewhere and a springer's damsel and I'm really liking the Springer's Damsel because the color, I don't even know where he is. He's very shy, but if you keep him singly, uh, this is the second one I've had that I've kept just by itself single and not, and not in a pair. And they seem to stay pretty docile and pretty laid back. And I don't seem to have any problems with them. So, but just to show what's in here again and how things are growing, there's a Liptospira kind of in the middle of the screen. Gonoporas, two different ones, short tentacle one there. Um, a Gorgonian behind that, that's a Groobs. I kind of have those everywhere. Another one up there. Oh, there's my urchin, cleaning off my power head. Oh, there's a damsel. My kids call it dory. It kind of is the same color. And then it goes with an emo. But it's kind of, if you can't have a dory, you don't have that big of a tank. For a small tank, very bright color, very pretty. Got some hammers there. And type of bird's nest. That style of four, the purple one, is not doing very well right now. It was doing beautiful. But I have a sexy shrimp that I put in here a month or so ago and it perches on that thing constantly and it's just pestering it to death so it might give out and die if it does I'll just take that back in the middle of the screen there in the back there's a um, bird of paradise I might move to that spot I'm not going to try and replace the purple stylo if it dies there's a sea pen back there a short tentacle gongopora and different kinds of recordias I'm trying to get to grow low down they are not as happy in this tank because I have a lot more flow and so they don't open and extend that's probably the happiest one I got right there that extends the most my other ones used to be huge I mean like I can't even explain how huge they were probably almost as big around as a small saucer I mean just huge and happy my green star polyps I keep pulled away from the rock work on their own rock and they're happy and pretty that thing is just taken off since my other clownfish died and it used to host that I really guess it was keeping it from extending fully and being beautiful and it it really is beautiful now and happy growing more it's a daisy pipe organ and a kryptonite candy cane my duncan colony has gotten huge and happy back in there is another um gorgonian i got that one from kp aquatics that one's pretty hardy if any flesh does die back, it grows back. If you know during the move it had some die back, but it's grown back and it's purple and fuzzy and in good shape. And a pipe organ, some kind of a cup coral. It's not a pagoda cup, but it's um I don't know. I got it from a friend. She gave me two pieces, and it's growing now and doing well. It had bleached out and wasn't doing well, but that's a pagoda right there. And another piece that she had given me two frags in case one didn't make it. And a white pipe organ. Another groobs. And that green green pipe organ there. 
And I thought I had lost it in the move, but right there is a little colony of red feather dusters I had gotten years ago from KP Aquatics. And during the move, I thought I lost it. It's such a small piece. And I found my urchin carrying it around the other day, so I snagged it and glued it back down. So, but anyway, that's the update for today and how it's doing. And the equipment I have is basically just the Tunzi 6040, the AquaClear 70 that has the heater in it, which is a neotherm, and then that other one that's by Hydor, the Pico, Hydor Pico, and then my lights, which are the same lights I had on my other tank, which are current orbit marine LEDs, not the pros, but the regular ones. I got two on there, and it really, it keeps things growing well. I mean, some of this stuff is really taken off and growing well since we've moved it, uh, or I've moved it into this tank. So it's just a happy, happy tank that's easier to care than my other one, even easier. It wasn't hard care on the other one, but this is even easier and more enjoyable. So and I'm only doing a four gallon water change, but I'll do another update later and we'll talk about salt and some other things, but blessings and happy reefing.